So I've maybe put more time into this game than any one person other than maybe like the developers or playtesters. I've struggled with it crashing on me, not knowing what to do, the game being too dark. And I think I've figured all that out. I think I can actually get through a full playthrough of it now. And if you like it, let me know down in the comments. I have a few keys to give away. Maybe before the end of this playthrough, I'll think of a way to fairly give some of those keys away. Let's jump into Alicia's dollhouse. I do have the brightness turned up all the way because it's kind of a hard game to to see what's going on. Although right, now we're going on a dirt road. I found out if you turn Bloom on, it actually makes it Holy playable, shit. much brighter. What the fuck was that? Fucking deer! <laughs> like I was playing at one point in the game where I had the in-game brightness turned all the way up. I had like the gamma turned the all the way up on my monitor, like. Me? Who lives here? Everything making it as bright as possible and you still just couldn't see. Turn bloom on and everything was like perfect, so. It made me feel so dumb. I tried every setting besides that one. Camaro is dope. If I ever leave an order open at this hour again. He's got a Camaro with a, with a Trans Am hood. I like it. I like it a lot. Hello. Yeah, yeah, that was a little bit too bright there. Now that I've kind of fixed the Mrs. game. Wilson, here we go. I have your order. Anybody here? Mrs. Wilson. So dark. Still. Am I in heaven or what? I guess it's my lucky day, baby. Hey, 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 let's take this and run. I'm rich, bitch. Strange, they got just a toilet on the floor. Hello, Alicia. Okay, well, it crashed on me again. Let's see if we can, uh... Get where we're going without... Crash this time. Greetings to those who listen to us on their screen. I'm gonna give the microphone to Alicia, the owner of these beautiful creations. So, Alicia, you have the microphone. Okay. Hey, you. He does not like the darkness. Okay, we'll keep your light on there, bud. Oh, that's extra dark, okay. No light switch there. Kind of bright in here, and there's nothing for us. So, yeah, it took me a long time to actually just kind of figure out what the hell the point of this game was. Like, the first night I played it, I was getting incredibly frustrated because I kept running around trying to find the next damn like door to go through or what I needed to do to trigger something. What you had to do was survive. Just stay well. alive for like long enough. And it's just so dark. We'll have a flashlight here in a second though. Vladimir Petrov. Features sudden attack. After sele selecting its prey, this puppet suddenly appears and relentlessly chases and kills. Its appearance and movements are extremely frightening and threatening. Crimes. Serial killer. Vladimir Petrov was a serial killer known as the Butcher of the Night who stalked his victims through the streets and brutally murdered them. All right. Puppet spawning mechanism and criteria for selecting its prey are unknown. The puppet's method of killing is quite brutal and is believed that he enjoys inflicting pain on its victim. This puppet is an uncontrollable threat and should be avoided as much as possible. 
This puppet? I can't see him. I swear it's darker than it was. Just try to change some settings around. Nothing really helped. We'll have a flashlight in a second, though. It's not pure black the whole time. Uh, where am I even at right now? Dude, it, this game is just too dark. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, door should be opening somewhere here. Have begun. I can't wait to find the temple. With that book, my work can be perfect. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, well, at least we got a little bit of light over here. Let's see. When does the flashlight appear? Uh oh. Does that mean we're being chased already? Shit. Flashlight, that's where it is. Much better. Hey there, big titty goth girl. How you doing? Source, Amelia Blackwood. Features, stone cut gaze. When this puppet is seen, do not move until it is gone. Taking any step may result in the puppet breaking the victim's neck. Crimes, mass murder, Amelia Blackwood, aka Big Titty Goth Girl. Cult leader, convinced her followers to commit mass suicide. Hundreds of people lost their lives following Blackwood's words. Uh, appearance, wooden face, yada yada, piercing glaze. Pith form of gothic robes Blackwood often wears. All right. She's gone. Well, hey there, little lady. How are you doing? <gasps> Victim, Elizabeth Bathany. Strangely, this puppet can only move as long as there is no direct observation of it. As soon as a person looks at the puppet, it freezes. But as soon as its gaze is removed, it moves silently and quickly, approaching its victim. In this way, it can reach its target unnoticed and carry out the act of killing. Crime serial killer Elizabeth Bathany is considered one of the most notorious female serial killers in history. She is said to have kidnapped and tortured young girls to death and bathed in their blood. Wooden face reflecting the cold and cruel beauty of Elizabeth Bethany. Blue eyes, hair short, wavy, reminiscent of people. Okay, cool. Okay, now there's basically one thing we need to do in this game. In the first part of the game. The mansion is wonderful, just as I imagined it. The children's laughter fills the house, and it makes me happy to see how much they love my puppets. And that is hang out over here. Okay, here we go. Okay, when the radio starts playing. That's when we get this tape, and then this is what starts the hunt. Is a bit of a trick. We just kind of hang out over here. We can get a good line of sight. Um, oh, there she is. To most of the house. So basically, we just have to hang out here and wait for the clock to tick um, for the next hour. And then we get chased by another puppet also. But. We have to keep the light on in that room in there or else little gopher boy gets pissed off and he'll come kill you real fast. And just like that, she disappears. <laughs> there she is. 
Okay, so look, when we kind of turn, she'll start to come this way. See? That's why having uh, the field of view really wide helps a lot. And I know this seems boring, and it is. You don't have to play like this. Like, you can keep moving around. Um, but it's kind of just safe. It's just to hang out. The first time I played it, I was moving around the whole time because I was looking to fi figure out where the hell do I go next. I was like, what do I do? Like, nothing... Nothing told me you just have to survive the puppet in the game. It was just like, where do I go? What's the next door? What do I need to do to trigger the next event? And then I just kept being killed over and over and over again. Oh shit, that light turned off. That's not good. Where is she? Right there. Shit, yeah, she'll uh... Even if if you're even if the door is closed, if your back's to her, she'll like go right through the door. And it should be soon that the uh, timer should be up. Make sure I keep this door open as much as possible. Damn. <laughs> the light over here is turned off twice now already. Which uh, oh. What the hell? Why is she still out here? Okay, is she disappeared. There? I saw your car outside. This is a restricted area, man. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, just kidding. Uh, what the hell? She's gone. Another tape. Let's go. Oh shit, the light's off in here. This guy's not gonna like it. Sorry, buddy, sorry. I don't know if you're supposed to keep the light on in both of these rooms, I uh, assume so, but I've only had him kill me if the light was off in that room. It's the biggest one I've ever made. I thought she might be one of my favorites. Call her Big Sis. When they see her, they're so surprised they Big titty move. goth girl. She is my perfect creation, and I am so proud of her. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she come from nowhere. So now we're being chased by both of the ghosts. How's this light? Oh yeah, it's right here. Hmm. Fuck. She. Oh gosh. There's big titty goth girl. We can't move. Oh shit. A okay, big titty goth girl moved. Now we can't take our eyes off of her. Or we can't turn her back to her. Oh. Let's go. Light. And they're spawning quickly. Jeez. Alright, now we'll just hang out here for a minute. Should be soon that this uh part should be over. I'll probably skip past a lot of there we go. There we go. Now shit gets crazy. They are afraid of him. Just yesterday they disappeared. Well, to be honest, I'm not happy with it. It's making weird noises and chasing people. Luckily, nobody suspected. They think it's battery operated. <laughs> yeah, right. They are soul operated. Okay. 
Now this the next the next one. This is fun. It's a lot of fun, but it could be a pain in the ass. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> See, where is he? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, he's gone. We gotta get the light on. Shit, where did he go? Oh no. Can I sneak past her? No. Fuck. I'm like stuck here. Shit. I hope she despawns soon. Oh no. Okay, good. Make a break for it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We made it. Oh, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Do the do again. Maybe I was facing her. Yeah, I noticed last time I played it, the uh, Vlad will like spawn right there sometimes. So um I kinda stay looking in that direction. Because I would be like looking right here and he'd spawn, and by the time I figured out he was spawning there, I couldn't get away in time. Shit. Fuck, where's he at? There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Go! Oh, mother! He turned around the damn table! Shit, like right now. Yep, go. Shit. Oh. What the hell happened here? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit. Bro. We gotta get out of here before we get chased. Oh, fuck. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, no. Where is he? Uh, I hope I don't run right into him. Damn it, is he not gonna? Oh, thank God. Okay, time's up. Woo wee. Oh, I think time's up. Yeah, they've definitely made some changes to this game. Before, um, the dolls didn't spawn once you hit the point where um, the bell rang. The, the, the clock. Alright, let's go. Act 2. Let's begin. Hopefully I can survive it this time. Like I'll show you. Oh damn, there's just a brain hanging out there. Yikes. This is incredible. The magic in the book can make my puppets real, but it comes at a price. She's starting to change her mind about the puppets, it sounds like. She's starting to see it's not all perfect. Yeah, I said it looks like they put most of a body in a blender right here and then poured it out, except for an arm, a leg, and the heart. My strange 
statue next to the book. It looks creepy, but it doesn't matter. What matters is what's written in it. That looks creepy. This is where I just was, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh no. How long has there been screen tearing? Man. I cannot believe that was tearing. I hope it wasn't that all, the whole time. I checked it a few times earlier and it wasn't tearing. Like, I can't just stare at my freaking. I swear, if I have to throw out this whole footage, I'm going to be so pissed off. My puppets are not what they used to be. Children don't laugh anymore. They don't like my work. Am I failing? Am I failing? Which I do that sometimes due to screen tearing. Man, it just it's so infuriating. It's over here. Okay, so we have to go through there. Yeah, sometimes if like the tearing's not too bad, I'll just, you know, post it and feel bad about it, but a lot of times I throw it out. You should be grateful to us. They say you should be like us, then we will be better than before. We will be better. If you ever see me looking over like this while I'm playing, is I'm checking if there's screen tearing. <laughs> Shit. Who's that? Who's that? Alicia? So down here is the section where everything was freaking pitch black on me when I tried to play this before. Pitch black. Not pitch black. Very, very dark. Very, very dark. <laughs> okay, so to get her dolls, she has to take the soul of a living person, it sounds like. It's disgusting. Sacrifice people, she says, but not criminals. Sacrifice the shit out of them. Nobody will care. So this must be where she, uh, does her experimentation. And sacrifices. And soul convergence. There is way more rooms than I remember there being. Oh, shit. Hey, does this thing record? Buddy. Damn, this woman's out of her mind. We've been <laughs> digging in the dirt all day. She's obsessed with the book. Whatever. As long as they give me my money. I hope I can go back to my family without any trouble. Doesn't just sound like some terrible criminal to me. Sounds like he's a decent family man who's trying to earn some money. Doing painstaking, back-breaking labor. Oh, 
follow the light. Um, yeah, I totally did not see all this before when I played it, I don't think. Fuck. I certainly don't remember this. Well, we have a checkpoint. Right. Oh, where to? Where'd she go? This way? I could. I probably didn't want to follow her anyways. Where? Let go. So maybe? Nope. Flashlight battery is dead. Okay. Now we follow the lights. We have a camcorder with night vision, yeah? That's it. This fucking woman makes us do terrible things. I heard her reading the fucking book, talking about killing people and doing things with her insides. She's fucking crazy. Fuck. I want to get her on camera so I can prove what she's doing. Damn it, no one will believe me. It's my only chance. Fucking gobshite, bitch. Uh-oh. Shit. Ah, uh, that's so much better. Ooh. Oh, damn. Uh. Yeah. I played this before. This shit was pitch black. There's a fuse. Gonna need that. Dude, it's so much better now. Holy shit. This is amazing. We need to... Where was that? Um... Yeah, this was it. Wait, that's where... Is that the exit? Oh, what? Good. I'm finally getting out of this fucking place. Is that to go out and turn left? I have to turn on the power first. How did I miss this, like, multiple times? There's no possible way. This guy. Oh. Cool. All right, we got the key card. Nothing else in here. All right, let's see if I can remember how to get back over there. That way. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't that door locked before? I feel like it was. Okay, so I think doors are like opening as I'm walking around. Find the electrical. Oh, I have the card, but I have to find the electrical room. Okay. So to do that. So the first time I played this game, I just like walked in a straight line to the exit. And then I just backtracked in a straight line to find the electrical room. It was fairly easy. It's not as easy this time. Although I think it's right here. Yep. Cool. Right. Something is bound to go wrong. Fucking fuses. Yep, go figure. I right. 
It's such a world of difference. I could see so much better now. It's amazing. I literally couldn't see a foot in front of me before. Okay. Fuses, fuses, fuses. Hold on. There's gonna be one right here. One fuse down. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think there was one in here. I think there was one close to the exit, though. If I can figure out how to get back over. Oh, here. All right. Cool. Okay, two down. I think I know exactly where to go now. If I don't just run right into her again. So cut through here. Uh, did I just see something glowing? Cut through here. Go this way. I feel like I should hide for a sec. Yep. She's close. That was smart to hide. <gasps> Shut this? Okay. Alright. Let's explore. Come on. I really would have assumed there'd be a fuse over here. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We're, okay. This is like a whole new area. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we can get back to where we were from here. Got it. Last fuse. Okay. Oh, where? Oh, shit. <laughs> There's the Alcatraz picture in every Unreal Engine horror game. And the room we need should be right here. Yes. Okay. That's still locked? Yeah. She's still hunting, though. Do I remember how to get there? I think so. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, use it. Hey! Okay, what now? I have not seen any of this. I have no idea what happens now. It's like a prime area for a chase sequence to happen. Man, I hate the depth of field when you get close to something and it just freaking makes everything get blurry. What the hell? Where are we at? Oh good, uh Oh gosh, we got two options. Oh shit. I cannot see. Looks like the game capture is picking up more than I can actually see. Okay. Can I not? 
Yeah, we got a achievement. Why does it let me through there? So let's go back and go the other direction. Dude, I cannot tell where the hell I'm at. This is so dark. This game is like utterly too dark. It's crazy how dark it is. Oh, holy what shit. What the fuck is this place? Whoa, it's hell I think, man. Is that a good idea? Put out your fucking fire. Eat this. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh shit, that thing's gonna come break our dick off now. Nice. Maybe. He's like, put this fire out. Oh no. Is that the end? Are there like good endings and bad endings? <gasps> oh no, we're mutilated. Oh no. Are we a doll? We're the one that doesn't like the dark. Oh no, we're the beaver guy. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I do think that was an interesting game, kind of fun. I liked how it looked. There were parts of the game I liked a lot more than others, for sure. Kind of the second part after you got past the dolls, that going through the house there. I kind of like that the best out of all. I think they really need to work on the brightness of the game. And for some reason, like turning bloom off makes the basement area with the with the night vision completely black. So that should be fixed. It's optimized pretty well. Uh, it could be a little bit better, but it's it's pretty good. Maybe difficulty modes actually would probably be perfect for this game. It could change like how often the dolls spawn, how aggressive they are, how long it takes to get from like one doll to the next. But yeah, now that I finally was able to get through it without any crashes and being able to see, it was a lot more fun than I've had with this game so far. But it took a lot to get to this point. I think for most people, it'll probably be fine though. I think it's a lot of it was my specific issues. And if you want to play this game, go ahead and join the Discord that's down in the description and leave a message in there telling me you're from the video and that you want a key and I'll hook you up. And for the rest of you, I will catch you on the next video. Peace out.